645, there is a high school now that has decided to no longer elect the prom king and queen, but instead to decide it by random drawing. Students aren't real thrilled about this happening at Caner Tech in Waterbury. We've heard from a lot of students who say, hey, this is tradition to elect a prom king and queen. All right, let's bring in Radio 1041 Fish in the Morning, who I'm sure was the king <laughs> of his own prom in, uh, where'd you grow up, Hebron? Where are you from? Guys, I was elected prom How? king this year at Cheney High School. I won the lottery. Uh -huh, I, won, congratulations. I won the lottery. All right, so what do you think? The idea here is to kind of get rid of the cliques, get rid of the bullying, and make sure that this is a kind of more random process. Yeah, I'm all about getting rid of the bullying, Chris, but I'm also all about having a winner and a loser in life. I hate the everybody gets a ribbon idea. Yeah. I like when we have winners. I like when trophies are handed out. And you know what I like best? What they did at my high school. We elected our prom king. Uh, was a student who was uh, mentally challenged and he was handicapped and it meant the world to him to win the prom king. So why don't they do that instead of putting it out there to a lottery? I, I, why don't you just do something better with the award? Wow. Right, I mean, typically it is. It's, it's an honor for that person that is elected. And I do understand in cases they might bully the person or vote someone in who they bully, but it is an honor. And we're, I, don't you feel, Fish, as if this takes that away and then you're left with the title as the random queen or the <laughs> random king? Yeah, like I said, Ann, I don't mind students voting the most popular person, prom king or queen, and I also don't mind students picking someone who really, really deserves it. But a lottery? A lottery? What are we trying to do? Win season tickets to something here? I think this is just <laughs> awful. Let there be winners, and let there be losers in thy kingdom of fish. Deem, oh, no. Deems the king. All right. Uh, king fish. I suppose. Well, only thank, in my own mind, I guess. thank you for being with us this morning. Six forty-seven headlines on the eights coming up next. Like, Is good that morning, a plunger? Kat. I think it was. I think it was. We'll be right back. Yuck. <laughs>